okay, this is going to be a super fast video, and it's just to help if you have an issue where your extruder runs backwards. So I installed a new firmware, and I have this Micro Swiss NG Revo, and it was running backwards and it wouldn't print. So I, and that was using Creality's firmware. I installed Marlin, which I thought was going to be super hard to do. Um, oh, and ignore this broken thing. I twisted this way too much. But I installed Marlin, and it was actually way easy. I didn't have to change anything in the settings. And I just want to show you, if you have that issue, I want to show you where to look for advice on how to change Marlin. So I found this Tech with Rita video, which was really helpful. This Jack Greer video was extra helpful. I thought I was going to have to go in and actually change um, the extruder to a negative value. And if I had this video, How to Install Marlin with BL Touch by Jack Greer is really good. And then also, it put me down this rabbit hole. And now I'm going to be putting Octoprint on my old Nexus 7. Um, so this video is just really to, to tell you if you're having issues with that Creality firmware, get Marlin, install it, and don't twist your knob to get up to 400 E-steps or you'll break it. Uh, yeah, but I hope I'm going to do another video once I got Octoprint all set up. And I just wanted to share if you're having that issue where the extruder is going up instead of down, uh, do some custom Marlin. It's much easier than people make it seem.